Hi, my name is Connor O'Shea and I'm president and co-founder of WestGen Technologies. WestGen is a remote power generation technology company and we're focused on solving a gigantic problem, the problem of gas pneumatics. For those of you who aren't familiar with a pneumatic device, a good example is the air gun that is used to change the tires on a Formula One car. In oil and gas, we also use pneumatic devices for things like opening and closing control valves and running injection pumps. The big difference is that in oil and gas, we don't have compressed air on the well site. Instead, we use the high pressure gas that's coming out of the well. The main downside of this is that once we've used the gas, it vents to the atmosphere. And this creates a large problem for our industry in the form of emissions. Now, according to the IEA, the emissions from these devices are north of half a billion tons of CO2 equivalent per year. That's the equivalent of emissions from 22% of all coal-fired power plants globally. Now, the story of WestGen starts three years ago on a well site in northern Canada when an operator was injured from an explosion that happened when he opened the door of a building that had a pneumatic device venting gas inside. The oil and gas company called my business partner, Ben, who was their engineering service provider, and asked if he could change their design to eliminate venting of gas from these devices. Ben calculated if he had a five horsepower air compressor, he would be able to install high pressure air and eliminate the venting of gas. But Ben ran into something he didn't expect, something we call the remote power generation gap. Traditionally on remote well sites, oil and gas producers use devices like thermoelectric generators or fuel cells to generate power. Uh, but these devices max out at around half a kilowatt of power. Ben figured he needed five kilowatts of power in order to run his air compressor. Now on the other end of the spectrum, there's larger devices, but those are too large and too expensive for this type of application. So the best solution that Ben could come up with was to use 10 thermoelectric generators to power the air compressor. The final cost of this design was an increment of $500,000. And with that, West End was founded with the goal of finding a way to generate enough power to eliminate venting of gas through pneumatic devices without increasing capital cost. Three years later, we have our solution. It's called EPOD, which stands for Engineered Power on Demand. We started out with a low cost, mass market, industrial reciprocating internal combustion engine. This is an off the shelf item, but it hadn't been used in this type of an application before, and there's a few reasons for that. The first one is that this engine was designed to run on clean natural gas and not well gas, which has liquids and contaminants. And so West End developed the technology to be able to handle the variability of the gas that comes out of the wells. The second issue is that the maintenance interval of these generators tends to be measured in hours. So West End developed technology to extend the oil change interval for up to one year. The third thing is that these types of improvements had been done before on larger generators but never in a way that was cost effective for a small generator. West End was able to develop the technology to overcome these limitations at a fraction of the cost of what was previously available. Now our EPOD is a solar and gas hybrid design. It has a 620 or 30 kilowatts of power and it provides 19 standard cubic feet per minute of instrument air to the site. That's double the air that used to be available at 50% less cost. By eliminating venting from the site, we're able to reduce the emissions by about 99%. That's the equivalent of around 650 cars on a standard six well pad. But the sales we have made to date have not just been based on environmental impact. Our customers have saved money in the capital cost of their design. By eliminating venting, the producers can sell the gas, turning an expense line into a revenue and it turns out that pneumatic devices don't like wet gas. They get gummed up, and by replacing the wet gas with dry instrument air, we increase reliability and therefore we increase production. And most importantly, we eliminate the explosion hazard, which was responsible for the incident that injured a worker three years ago. Thank you.